Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day, number 15. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and I really appreciate it. I'm extremely gratified to be able to bring you these tips. Uh, and I also want to say thank you to all of you who are helping to keep me honest and pointing out when I've either made mistakes uh, or gotten someone's name wrong or in some other way screwed, screwed up. Um, <clears throat> It's good to know that people are actually paying attention and are, uh, as I said, hoping to keep me honest. Uh, I've been telling people all along that I'm learning as much or more about uh, Source Filmmaker by doing these than you all are. So uh, I think it's cool. So thank you again. So, all right, let's move on to today's tip of the day, which is very briefly, I'm going to show you how you can make a character's eyes follow the camera. And this is a useful technique if you want to create uh, the perspective that the viewer of your video is being spoken to and, uh, and and having it follow the camera is a useful trick. And of course, it's done with locks. So um, I'm going to go ahead and create an animation set for an existing element. I've already got the camera in the scene, of course. I'm going to say camera one, click OK. Now, in the past, when you've seen any locks tutorials, including the ones that I've done, usually what you've done, let's say that I wanted to have the medic holding a weapon in his hand. Well, I would spawn the weapon by creating an animation set for it. And then I would drag the weapon, or excuse me, I would drag the, the uh, weapon bone from the medic's hand to the weapon's weapon bone, which basically I'm dragging from the medic model to the weapon. And then, then the weapon is now locked to the hand. However, if I did that, what would happen is, if I did that by dragging the uh, the medic's, uh, let's see, I'm looking for the eyes, his view target is what defines what he's looking at. If I dragged his view target to the camera, what would happen is the camera would remain still until his eyeballs moved. And that would might create an interesting effect. I have no idea. It would certainly look strange, but uh, uh, it's not what we want. Instead, we want his eyeballs to follow the camera. So what we're going to do is expand the camera and look for the transform. Cameras don't have any bones, like weapon bones or anything like that. So uh, what you have to do is find the transform. And then we're going to drag the transform to the view target. Now the camera is locked to the eyes, or the eyes, I should say, are locked to the camera. It is an important distinction. So now when I move the camera, if I select the camera and I go here into the motion editor, the eyes move. But there's another problem, and I set this up in deliberately to show you the problem. Even though his eyes are moving, you can see that they are moving. They're not looking at the camera. So just like with most other locks, if we want to get to the right state, what we have to do is find, oops, <laughs> wrong. I have to go to the view target here on the eyes, and then I select default. And now he's looking at me. You looking at me, punk? So I'll go back to the camera, and now his eyes will follow me. Creepy. And uh, I can even do things like this. Oops, not scrub. That's not what I wanted. That's it. I can rotate the camera in a circle, and his eyes will always look at me. Right now his eyes are looking behind me, behind him, but you get the idea. Uh, so, yeah, using this, you can make the eyes follow anything you want. It doesn't have to be a camera. You could make the eyes follow a prop. You could make them follow another model. Uh, you could make them follow a specific point in the geometry so that, uh, you know, wherever the, the character moves, that you just by moving the view target there, the character will look at it. But if you want to make it follow something that moves on its own or that might move independently of the model, then you can use this technique by locking the view target to, the, uh, to whatever it is you're wanting. Actually locking the, the prop, the camera, the model, or whatever to the view target, and then that will cause the character's model to always look at whatever it was you locked it to. So I do hope that was useful for you. Uh, this has been your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day, and I am Jimmer Linz. I appreciate, as always, you watching, and uh, thank you again. I hope you enjoy using Source Filmmaker, and have a great day.